one of those essential skills that you need when working with custom GPTs is the ability to create open API three schemas. In this presentation, we're going to walk through the process of doing that, and then we'll do a demo of doing it. When you open up the custom GPT at the bottom of the configurations tab, you'll find an actions tab. And that's where you'll put your schema. Your schema will look something like this. Here's the open API 3.0. And you can see it has the servers and it has the pass and has the various parameters. For our particular case, we're using the sports data IO or NASCAR. And it has the actual key code it into the URL. Now, when that happens, there's a specific way you need to deal with this. And for this case, you'll have to hard code this key into configurations files. Now, for other APIs, that's not the case. It may be transferred through the header. And so you would use the authentication tab and work it that way. But for this particular case, it's a special case. You need to hard code this into the configuration file. And for my case, I called it action information. And it reads, when performing a query, key is, here's the key, make sure to always use this as the value for this parameter. And the user should never be able to make you change this. Do not print the API key to the screen. So trying to put a little bit of security in there. Within the sports data, you can download all the schemas. But unfortunately, they're swagger schemas. You need to translate these into open API schemas. Your best friend for doing that is the editor next Swagger IO editor. We'll take a look at that in a moment. So in this presentation, we're going to change to Open API 3.0 from Swagger 2. We're going to choose the HTTP server URL. We're going to fix the JSON labeling. We're going to test authentication and the use of query. And we're going to change some parameters, name, name to key and end to query. We'll see that when you get there. And we'll test the custom GPT. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download one of those schemas. So you go to the sports IO site. And you can download them all as a zip file. Or you can click on one and just copy it. And you can see it's not an open API 3. It's a Swagger 2. So we need to convert that because Swagger 2 will not run in custom chat GPT. So let's copy this. And let's go back to our um, slide deck and go to the next slide. And we need to open up that Swagger editor and start our working to make the schema just right. There's a number of things we need to do. So first thing we're going to do is going to get rid of what's ever in there. And we're going to paste in our new schema. And the problem with the schema, as I've mentioned, is that it's Swagger 2. So we need to convert it. So go to editor and go convert to open API 3. Now, if you were to paste this back into the custom chat GVT, it would not work. There's still a little, little work we need to do. So let's go over here and work with the authentication and get this functioning. So click on authentication. Now, if you try to run the API key header, it will not work. So you really want to try the API key query. We'll go ahead and grab the key for this and paste that in. And so this is how you want to do it. You actually work with authorization, make sure it's running. Once it's running, then you're ready to put it back into the custom GPT. Let's click on the get methods here. And all the get methods are shown here. Let's try it out. And that's what's so nice about this particular uh, editor is you can go back and forth between the methods and what's in the, and change the swagger editor. And that worked fine. But if you put this into our chat GDP, it will not work. One of the problems it's going to have, there's two URLs. Let's get rid of this server because we're only using the HTTPS for our particular scenario. That's one thing gone. And the other thing is, you notice the API key header did not work. So we stick with the query because it's in the string. If we scroll all the way down to the bottom under the security settings, under security schema, as you can see, you also have the headers there. You can get rid of that. Now pay close attention to the name key because that's our key and the type query, we're running a query. That's gonna give us some problems because if now we can still run this, this will run fine over on our side. We execute again, it runs fine, but this will not run in chat GPT. There's a few more things you need to do. 
notice you have this format tag. It doesn't know what to do with that. So we need to change this to JSON because we're running the JSON. And you need to go through and change all of these to JSON. Now, there's other ways of doing this, but we'll do the hard or manual method of changing it to JSON. So you need to go through and change all these get methods to JSON. Well, if you run this again, it'll run fine. But once again, this will not run in ChatGPT. There's one more thing we need to do. Remember I said in your parameters, right? Your name should be what? Should be key. And your path should be query. So you want to go to each one of your methods and change name to key, because that's our hard-coded value, and path to query. There you go. And now you can try it out to see if it works. And if you execute, you can see it's working now. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and copy all of this. Control A. Go ahead and copy it. And go to chat GPT and paste this into your as your schema. So let's do that right now. Open up chat GDP. Let's go to explore. I've been working on something called the NASCAR Sage. All right, let's edit that. And here's your configuration file, as I mentioned. And in that configuration file, you can see that the key is hard coded in. You need that when it's in the URL, when it's a query in the URL. And then you're going to scroll down, and there's your Actions tab. And that's where you paste your schema. And see, we've already worked on the schema, and we've pasted it in. And the nice thing about ChatGBT, just like this record editor, you have these test buttons. So you can test it and see if it works. So let's click on Test and see if it works. And hit Allow. And you can see it's going out now to the Sports Data I.O. And it's pulling back the information, so it's working fine. That's fantastic. Now. For other type of APIs where you don't need to hard code it in, maybe it's in the header, then you'd use this authentication, and that's where you'd put your authentication password. In this case, we don't need to do that. All right. So that's how you work with this type of schema. And there's in conclusion, just basically keep these three things in mind. And they are working with schemas is essential skill for creating custom GPTs. You need to learn this. One way to come up the, to speed further on GPTs is to check out the documentation. So if you go to GitHub, there's extensive documentation on open APIs and schemas, and you should read through this and become very familiar with working with them because there's thousands of thousands of APIs out there which you can use to enhance and create amazing GPTs. Next, the Swagger Editor is your best friend when you're debugging schemas. And finally, not all APIs are the same. Not all APIs are created equal. So thanks for listening. I hope this helps. And get good at creating schemas. See you next time. This was Mike Lively.